Welcome back to the vlog. Today is Sunday morning and uh, there was a race on this morning. There was a race in a place called Bescano, which is five kilometers west, so that, that way. It was just a local race, but I really fancied doing it just to mix up training a little bit. But as I explained the other day, when it's wet here in Spain, the roads are just crazy. They're so slippy. Racing is just out of the question. And as soon as I saw the weather forecast that was for today, I said, I I'm not gonna race, I'm just gonna train instead. I was just gonna go and train in the rain, I was gonna wrap up and embrace embrace the elements. However, after speaking to a couple of locals and uh, checking the weather forecast on my phone, this, this like, I wouldn't call it a storm, this, this weather front of rain and cold and misery is supposed to pass tomorrow. This is supposed to be the last day of this, this weather. So I just decided that I would switch training around a little bit and take my rest day today whilst the weather's like this. And then tomorrow when the weather's nicer again, resume training and then just remove my rest day that I planned in a couple of days. So to summarize that story in about two seconds, today's a rest day. Where is curries when you need it? If you didn't watch the vlog yesterday, then I'm trying to buy a new tripod for this camera because this current bendy tripod thing that I've got is, is broken, it's, it's just really weak. But the camera store in town, which sells the exact tripod that I want, a Manfrotto tripod, it's just never open. So it's spitting outside now, which I'm not sure if spitting's a universal term or if it's just like an English term. It pretty much means that it's not raining heavy anymore. It's, st it's still raining, but it's not, not that heavy. And this is probably the only opportunity that I'm gonna get to get out of the house today. I wouldn't say that I'm a hyperactive person. I just don't like sitting inside all day. Being confined by four walls, I just like to get outside, even to just walk around in the rain. I questioned the other day how high that river could get and uh, to put it into perspective this this Casa, Casa Nostra is completely well almost completely disappeared today on a rainy day in Girona there's only one place for it So it looks like everyone's came here to escape the rain. But in saying that, this place is always busy. You know what we need to do? We need to come up with some sort of ranking system for all the different cafes in Girona because I said the other day, I made quite a bold statement and said that the Federal Cafe was quickly becoming my, my favorite cafe. However, after going back to La Fabrica today, I've not been for a few days, but after going back, I can honestly say La Fabrica is still and probably will always be my favourite cafe. I've just taken shelter because it looks like it's going to start pouring down again. But look, I'm no coffee expert, but the coffee that La Fabrica roast, which they roast themselves, it just has like a unique taste to it. And I can't really put my finger on what it is exactly. It's the type of thing you just have to try, try yourself and make your own decision. But if you're into your coffee, then you won't be disappointed. I've just found some shelter out of the rain to eat my crepe and then I'm gonna run home. I honestly think Nutella is one of the nicest tasting things in the whole world. Like, I, hon I honestly do. And please don't give me a hard time about eating the crepe. I've, I've, I've eaten a fairly healthy diet since I got here and a chocolate crepe every now and again. It's all right. Running home. Don't want to get the camera wet. Don't want to get me wet. But Casa Nostra has completely disappeared now. It has completely disappeared. Wet. 
episode of Tour Down Under has now finished. Thanks to everyone for joining the first Cycling Cam Fantasy League. It, it, it proved to be a real success. There was like 80 people joined. One second, I'm going to count exactly how many people there was. All right, there's 88 people, so closer to 90, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So because this league has been such a success, I think I'm going to do this for the future races this season. I'm not sure what races Velo Games are doing next. Maybe the Spring Classics. I guess we'll just wait and find out. But the winner, the winner of the Velo Games Tour Down Under Fantasy League is Chain Rub 101. He scored 4,300 points. I'm guessing that's a big score because he won. But thank you to everyone for joining. I have just spent the whole afternoon working, editing the vlog, uh, do, doing some other stuff that I can't tell you about just yet, but I will be able to very, very soon, and I am really, really excited about it. But the time is now seven o'clock. It's dinner time. Came down to a local place called Koenig. It's like a chain in Girona. Currently eating a Russian salad. Not entirely sure what it is, but it's nice. The food here is so good as well. I just had a lasagna and you always know when it's a good lasagna, when it's got a good consistency of meat. And it's so cheap as well. It was six euros for a lasagna. So if you want cheap, good food in Girona, come to this place. Great food, great rest day.